Let me show you a little card trick with some jokers that I've saved up. I've got a whole little bunch of them here, and um, I always take them out of the cards that I'm using, so I always end up with a whole pile, and I thought it'd be cool to work out a little trick with them. So that's what I've done. So we're going to lay uh, the jokers out in a line, just like this. And then I've got some really interesting cards to put on top of them. It looks like they're the same as the others, but if you check them out, they've actually got no faces at all. They are blank cards. And it just keeps everything super clear and easy to follow. We're going to plonk uh, three of each blank card onto each joker like that. So it's one, two, three, four. Now here's the idea. We're going to take packet number one here. We'll count our joker up to the top of the packet, which is there. And we're going to try and make it leap across to the second packet. Watch very carefully. Just go kapow! And... The Joker has fled. Now, just to prove it to you, there's my other blank cards. The Joker has really gone. But it hasn't gone far. If we check out this packet, we turn it over now, there should be two Jokers in here. So that's one, and then somewhere in here, yeah, there's Joker number two. Pretty cool. Uh, let's try the same thing again. Uh, we'll take our four cards, and we're going to fire this time two Jokers across. One, two. If it's worked, here I'll just have my blank cards. And all the way over here now will just be one blank card left in this packet because all the other ones are jokers. Pretty weird. This is the toughest bit though because we've got to get all three to jump across. One, two, three. If we do that, then we're going to be left with our blank cards, which means all the way over here are aces because, you know, why not? 